Welcome to the 21st episode of Fucked Up But True. Today we're going to be talking about sexual tidbits that go on at the beginning stages of relationships. See, I'll give you an example. We all know that if you're if a man is having sex with a woman, right, and she says something like, come for me or come with me, we all know that that really means hurry the fuck up, nigga. Fucked up, but true. You feel what I'm saying? But let me tell you something that you may not have known, ladies. In a man's mind, it is overrated as fuck to take a shower with a woman if y'all not about to do anything nasty. Fucked up, but true. And there's two reasons why. Reason the first. And it's not because, you know, she's hogging all the water, which she is. No, it's not because of that. It's because if she's controlling the water, it's about to be fire and brimstone, my nigga. Fucked up, but true. You feel what I'm saying, Z? When that hot water hit a man's back, nigga, he gonna jump like a slave getting hit by a whip. You feel what I'm saying, Z? That's, that's the first reason. Reason number two. You see, the reason why it is overrated to take a shower with a woman, if y'all not about to do nothing nasty, is because if y'all really trying to get clean, He's not going to really be comfortable trying to get all his spots in front of you because that means he got to twist, turn, and maybe contort himself in flimsical ways that he don't want you to see. Fucked up, but true. See, he's not going to be able to get zestfully clean without looking zestfully. You understand what I'm saying? See? So he might not want to do that. But I'm a different type of nigga. You feel what I'm saying? See? Because even when I'm by myself, I'm manly. Even if I'm, I'm by myself in the motherfucking shower, right? Nigga, I'm stiff, nigga. I get all the spots, but I'm stiff, stiffing up. You feel what I'm saying? See? Nothing flimsical about me. You feel? I might be ass naked in a crip stance, washing up like shit. You feel me? Now, um, something else, ladies. Did y'all know that y'all need to normalize giving men second and maybe even a third chance when to, to, to knock the bottom out of that pussy when y'all first have sex? Fucked up, but true. Because it's like this. You see, there's a lot of different reasons why a, a nigga might not have had a great showing the first time y'all fucked. You feel what I'm saying? A nigga might be stressed, you know what I'm saying? Getting into his baby mama, dog just died. Who knows? You feel me? But y'all need to give him a second and maybe even a third chance because... You may, matter of fact, y'all can even take it as an as a compliment somewhat because he might just be super excited to fuck you. You know what I'm saying? You might be the woman of his dreams. You feel me? Though during those weeks before y'all fucked, but y'all was making love on the phone, he was hard the entire time. You feel me? So if you want him to last longer, fuck him sooner. You feel what I'm saying? See, that whole time you were just letting sweet ass dick just just go by because y'all making love on the phone, not fucking. You feel what I'm saying? See, now y'all might be listening to me. It's like damn, Debo, sound like you speaking from experience, my nigga. Yes, nigga, I've been that noodle dick nigga before. You feel me? I was way young, but I was him. You feel me? Now, I ain't gonna lie to you though. One time the heaven smiled upon me. They opened up and, and dropped the blessing down to him because after I was that nigga and I had a bad showing and she went and told all her friends, you see, right? Years went by and that haunted me. That haunted my spirit, right? I never forgot it. But I got to meet back up with her. I got to mess around with her, and I got to knock the bottom out that pussy. Fucked up, but true, nigga. Not only did I knock the bottom out, you feel me? Nigga, I crucified her. I was trying to untie her tubes. Fucked up, but true. I was like, you know what? God, let me get a do-over. God loves me this day. You feel me? Nah, wait. I normalize that. You feel me? So we can have happy endings. You feel what I'm saying? Dude? Now, another thing. Women who suck, women who like sucking dick more than getting a pussy ate. There's women like that. Matter of fact, those are the same type of women who might even moan while they're sucking dick or might even come while they're sucking dick. I just want y'all to know that you women, guess what? God has a reserved spot for you in heaven. He has an assigned seat for you at the table in heaven. Fuck yeah, Patrick. You feel what I'm saying, Z? We're not worthy of your presence when it comes to women like that. You, you feel what I'm saying, Z? Now, um, I, I have to say that because some women don't know their worth. Just understand, if you're a woman like that, Matter of fact, you a woman like that and a nigga let you get away? Tell me who he is so I can run up on him with the blicky. You feel me? I will run up on that nigga with the stick for letting you get away. You know what I'm saying? That nigga tripping. Matter of fact, I'm going to ask, where, where can I find you for a nigga like myself? You feel what I'm saying to you? Now, I'm going to tell y'all something that, ladies, that y'all might not know. A man's dick size sometimes depends on how how sexually attracted to you he is. You feel what I'm saying to you? You might have fucked him for the first time and left thinking, oh, that nigga was like this. But really, he not like this. He's a bigger crip sign. You feel what I'm saying? You just didn't turn him on as much. Nobody's fault. But just shit that just happened. You feel me? He can be all the way hard, but not as big as he needs to be. You feel what I'm saying, dude? But uh, I just, well, I don't know if y'all knew that or not. Um, also, ladies, let me, tell me if y'all knew this or not. This is going to really expose how niggas, 
how much niggas ain't shit. They're un, there ain't shittery level. Uh, they unshittery levels is dangerously high. Y'all let me know. Did y'all know this? Um, let's say you got a homeboy who has no business sending you dick pics, news, or anything, right? Yeah, you know so he might even be your homegirl's dude. Might be a nigga you was raised with, like siblings your whole life, right? But he's secretly always wanted to fuck. What he'll do is, especially if he's proud of his peen, right? He'll send you a dick pic, right? But then he'll say, oh, my bad, baby girl. I, I didn't mean to send that to you. That wasn't for you. That was for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Just ignore that. It was for you. Fucked up, but true. You feel what I'm saying? It was definitely for you. Matter of fact, he literally put out that worm as bait to reel you in. You feel me? And if your response is something like, damn, that's what you're working with? Then it's got you, bitch. Fucked up, but true. You ladies tell me, did you know that? Also, ladies, let's say we, we're at the beginning stages, but the man, he ain't clapped your cheeks yet, right? Us men, we don't, if you invite us to your house, we don't want to compromise anything that's going to uh, uh, prevent us we, from having sex with you or getting our dick sucked by you. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? We don't want to compromise that. So let's say we use the bathroom. We'll go out of our way to not make any noise. You feel what I'm saying? We don't want you to hear our streaming service when we're in front of the toilet. You feel what I'm saying? So I've been a nigga for, I've been a nigga before. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I literally took a Colin Kaepernick knee in front of the toilet. You feel me? Just so I can hit that inner edge, you know what I'm saying, where there's no water. You know what I'm saying? So she don't hear the stream. You feel me? So she don't get grossed out. And hopefully she'll still want to suck me. Fucked up, but true. Oh, yes. Niggas go way out of their way when it comes to fucking or getting a dick sucked. Sucking and fucking? For sure. Now, y'all ladies, um, this go for men and women. Y'all let me know if y'all knew this. Did you know that you cannot make love to someone unless you actually love them. Did you know that? You feel me? You can, I don't give a fuck how passionate the sex is. If y'all don't both love each other, then that's not making love, my nigga. And niggas, you feel me? Also, did you know the, the only way to truly make love is to fuck the shit out of somebody that you actually love? Fucked up, but true. You, a lot of people think, you know, it's that slow grinding and, you know, caressing and, each other's body heat and chemistry and sweat all on each other. A lot of people think that's just, that's only what lovemaking is. That's a part of it. You 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 incorporate a little of that. But I don't care if you got the incense burning, you got the soft music playing, you got the candles lit. You feel me? When you love somebody, you knock the bottom out that shit. You know what I'm saying? You fuck the shit out of him or her. When y'all love each other, that is the best way to have sex or or the best way to make love, I should say. Fucked up, but true. Now, the reason that I'm telling you all of this is I want y'all to be able to pick up on the signs so y'all can know how much a person really fucks with you at the beginning stages. You feel what I'm saying to you? Because some, if a person is doing these things that I'm saying, they're really going way out of their way for you at the beginning stage. They really like you and they really function with you. But if they don't do all these things, they don't really give a fuck about you. Fucked up, but true. I'll give an example of somebody, some people that don't give a fuck about you at the beginning stage and what they'll do. You see, you get double dip dirty dick niggas. Double dip, dirty dick niggas. You know, you have those type of niggas. And what is that? That is a nigga who will go fuck a random bitch, right? He might fuck her in the ass, which I call the stick in the mud or the banana in the tailpipe. He might go do that, right? Come back to you, don't wash the dick off, and go fuck you raw. You feel me? That is a double dip, dirty dick nigga. Be on the lookout for that type of nigga, ladies. And fellas, be on the lookout for this type of woman. Let's say you had a, it's like the third or fourth date, still early. Y'all at a restaurant eating, right? And then she just decides, she takes it upon herself to, to unload an uproarious fart, right? In your presence, not giving a fuck. I'm, I'll be like, Man, you, don't, you don't want me to eat your ass yet, right? You know what I'm saying? That's a woman that don't fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? It's disrespectful, my nigga. I'm talking one of them farts that travels up her back. It travels up the back of her shirt, come, it seeps out through the neck hole of her shirt, crop dust the whole air, and lands on y'all's food. Fucked up, but she don't give a fuck about you. Be on the lookout for that type of shit. Fucked up, but true.